So hello and welcome to Cash for Life Business Module 14. Okay, so in this one uh, we're gonna again images as the previous one, but the previous one, previous one, we worked with banners. What you can do with banners. In this one, we're actually gonna work with the actual pictures. Okay, what you can do with the pictures. Now you may want to build a picture website and then add some affiliate links, advertising, whatever you want to add around of it. But as, what we need to look for is, we also need to make our website interactive. So what I mean by that is, you know, the viewers, they already interact in your website when they moving around the menus, okay? And what we want to do now is, you don't see much people doing this, is uh, let them interacting by using the pictures okay so what we do this so basically you can see here i go which called the tube nail the tube nails and this one which is the one that is in the correct size so there is not a problem but if we click on the next one okay we chose the picture is actually out of proportion because it causes our website to expand and going out of size so in this tutorial that's what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to resize these images and then uh, we'll show you what the end product, product will look like okay so for this job uh, what i'm going to use i use i used to use photoshop okay and the picture that we go that is out of proportion is this one you see there so once i put my mouse over the picture it says the dimensions is 750 by 500 okay what we need to be in mind here is that our main panel on Excite Pro is only a 500 width. Okay, so anything that is above the 500 is going to cause the site to grow out of proportion. Okay, so we don't want this to happen. So to do this, what we're going to use, we're going to use GIMP. GIMP is free, so if you tap GIMP on Google, uh, download and install in your computer, and that's absolutely free. So I just got to basically open GIMP here. As soon as you open there it goes so it's now open so now i'm going to go to the files where i got my pictures okay and this is the picture that i want to resize because it's a bit out of proportion okay just click and drag and drop on uh, on gip panel once the pictures is here the next thing we're going to go you're going to go to image and we got a scale image okay and now here remember my panel uh, main panel is 500 okay so which means i can have a width of 500 and in most cases once we do this and then click somewhere or say the area now he kept 500 so i don't want there it goes so now he went to 333 which pretty much this should give us the right size so if i click scale you can see now my picture is smaller okay and this pretty much looks like to be the size that I want to fit on the site okay so what I'm gonna do now here is I go to, to file and I'm gonna save and save now all I need to make sure is just go there and see if it if it's saved there and there it is so you can see now when I put the mouse the picture has now been saved is 500 by uh, 333 okay which is the size that we want so i can now close this one close gimp and go back to excite pro and uh, in excite pro what i'm gonna do i just gonna delete the widget here okay and i gotta add a new one so this basically any page that you create okay so basically you have to create a new page and you can add this widget anywhere you want so I'm gonna do gonna add this widget again, but either right size of the image, so my site doesn't go out of proportion. So go here back to the image image gallery. That's the widget that we're using to display these images. Okay, edit, add image, click here to load the image. Now I'm have to find the file that's called my images which is the luxury houses and the luxury homes and okay one of them is this one 
you can see the size there 300 by 200 the other one is a 400 by 252 so I'm gonna use this one open and I name it home one for now but it's always good to actually give it a name to the picture okay for the session gen uh, you know for the spiders and image description just a small description say uh, house somewhere but for this I'm gonna do this now so just add this image and I'm gonna add another image which is the second image which is this one which is the 500 by 333 that we just uh, scaled to make the size of the site so add select that one open and home to okay add image and uh, insert wizard okay it's now got the new one just gonna click save and I just gonna publish yes and while it's publishing I just gonna hold this a little bit okay and is now finished publishing uh, what I'm gonna do is just gonna gonna see the live site back to the live site and refresh and now you can see that if I view the image the image doesn't grow out of proportion on the site okay so even though it's two different size images but it doesn't cause my site to grow out of proportion okay so what we go after all so after all you can see that I had two different houses I could house I could have had uh, outside the house the living room the kitchen bedroom and so on all the way all the way through so any pictures okay so we're talking about the house we could have a car we could have anything or anything that we want to sell okay in the other video I will be showing you as well how to add buttons PayPal buttons at any prices that you know you can even sell pictures if you want okay so really imagination is the limit okay so what we end up having is something like this so if I show you here these pictures I go down here okay so we got this one and this could be anything I want it to be and if I want to sell it I can as well sell it okay there is no region why you cannot do whatever you want to do it okay it can be affiliate products and then have a click here link or click here to go to the page it can be anything you want absolutely anything uh, another one that we got here which is this one so basically if I click in that image there okay this is a, a picture that opens above the site so darkens all the surrounding area so the picture stands out a bit more and you know there you go so it's another way to do this now to add these pictures this ones I'm adding here now that I'm open here right now okay all you do is on Excite Pro go back to the page basically pick the area where you want to add the picture okay say so one one added there and go to the widget and this is the light box pop-up okay and then you just pick this one edit choose the image so pick the image that you want to use okay let's say I want to use this one insert okay there is the image and save and then at the end of the result that's what you get is this image that pops up in the middle of the screen in the darkened edges so this is it for the video uh, for the module 14 my name is Zenuns, thank you very much for watching, bye bye for now.